Uh, this is music and message, and this is where my help comes from. I tried to make a stand Put my men's well in front of me Like a mirror image of all the sins that I used to be you Made all things work out for the good Prepared the place for me I looked up and it was finished I was standing on my knees Lift my eyes to the hills Where does this my help come from? My help comes from the Lord Seems I've waited here so long Hide me when you return Keep me from harm I lift my eyes to you, Lord Where my help Names were about the same The situations, well, they appear again This time I tried to lead To lead in your name you Told that no one does life right Well, completely right anyway Seems I've been here before I had to stop and see my eyes to the hills where does my help come from my help comes from you lord seems i've waited here so long i'd be when you return and keep me from Bumping for the words I stumble around, stutter around and say This time I want to do this right And I point to your third day Of how you loved and died for us Oh, thank you, thank you, Jesus There is no other way Walking up the center of Jerusalem, somewhere nervously padding our way past the machine gun laden men that littered the path towards the sacred site. When I came across a real treasure of a story, Vendor was selling a parable, if you will, in ancient two mites, which is the, the widow's mite story. And there are two copper coins in a little box, and it, it opened up and you read the parable. The widow's two mites. He looked up and saw the rich men putting their gifts into the treasury, and he saw also a certain poor widow putting in two mites. And he said, Truly to you I say that the poor wit this poor widow has put in more than them all, for all of them have put in out of their abundance but, uh, offerings to God. But she, out of her poverty, put in all of her livelihood that she had. This particularly caught my eye, for I was married to a widow with nine children. She, she, she was trudging 
that way up to Jerusalem with me. I married a widow with nine children. Like all of Jesus' parables on an earthly story with a heavenly meeting had great, great powerful unforeseen implications in my life. The city of Jerusalem is ancient, uh, is the ancient site of Jewish worship. And on the way up in the holy days, there were traditionally songs of ascent that were sung. And one of the songs was based upon Psalms 12. It says, I lift my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. I was young and healthy at the time and really just one of the kids, playful and whimsical, just figuratively just whistling past the machine gun laden guys on, and around, littered around Jerusalem. And later in life, I had a real health crisis where I about died. And again, climbed the figure of, this figurative hell, you know, and about passed from this earth. Now my wife had already lost one husband. As, as a widow, right? And I, I got my life insurance policy together to make sure that he, her and the kids were taken care of. And I went back to my faith. I came back to these great facts of faith. No one does life completely right. I hadn't. Everyone falls short in many ways. What we say, what we do. I was intensely led back to my childhood faith. And somewhere deep inside the little boy, stuck within the heart of a dying man, I cried out to the Jesus of my youth. I needed mercy. I needed a savior that loves me and died for me. I confessed that he is Lord and believed that he rose from the dead. I was met with a life-changing experience. It's by grace and faith that our souls are saved, folks, not by anything you do. But I assure you, we have a loving, merciful, and kind savior, and he was not about ready to let a wife, this, my wife this time be a widow again. He thunderously brought me back to health and gloriously saved my soul, only by his mercy and grace. So my wife tragically saw her first husband pass in the kingdom and now got to see her second one ushered into the kingdom and lived to tell about it by his mercy and grace. Looking back, I now realize how true and profound the parable of the widow's mites is. She had 10 children, 11 grandchildren now, and two generations she's seeing being taught about Christ. Now, charging the road to happy destiny has been a different matter from then on. I noticed that at this point in my life, the light became like a mirror image of itself. As by grace and faith, our souls are saved, but the job isn't done after we accept Christ as Savior. He has a kingdom that he wants to inherit, and the Father's good, it's the Father's good pleasure to give us the kingdom. So as my health returned, I went back to my place of work, my hobby of writing, and I committed both those areas to him and to the Lord, and I filtered in the good news, the gospel, and all walks of life. Truly I tell you, Jesus said, no one who's left home, brothers, sisters, mother, father, children, or fields for me and the gospel will fail to receive a hundred times as much in this present age, homes, brothers, sisters, mothers, children, and fields, along with persecutions. And in the age to come, eternal life. Many of the last will be first, and the first will be last. It's in Mark 10. I come from a small town, and I left my, I led to leave that hometown, and that, that, those high school friends, crying girlfriend, I was crying too. Some real good buddies, that it walk, would have walked with me throughout life and, and had to be separated from Mike and John. Frankly, I gave up my 20s running in and out of ERs to be a family physician, intensive care units, and, and, um, and I really didn't have time. I had to leave things behind and relationships behind. Well, it's about people, folks. When I served in Jesus' name, gave my life to him, he gave everything back a hundredfold. And it's about people. When I look at my children now, nine stepchildren, who are obviously I didn't name, I know some of the names were about the same as some of, the, some of those I had to leave behind. Same, the, the same kingdom mystery is seen amongst my patient population, church family, and well, all my contacts. Seems the situation we're given is given over again to perhaps serve in the right direction in all the areas of life. He just gives, gives the kingdom back. It's about people. In particular, inviting others to the kingdom has been my focus. Even if you move to a different location, you have a job to finish. Whose family is it anyway? I, now I know on the, on the other side, I'll have friends that will get together and say, we're all here because of Jesus, but man, you invited me. Thank you so much. We're all on our different respective roads to J Jerusalem, but it came when I gave my life to Christ. That's when it started. The, the, uh, there'll be a time when I told the gospel to the last person about that way out of this world alive, and I'll be able to say it's finished and I'll go home. Till then, I'll pray for his mercy, joy, peace, favor, restful healing nights and days. And pray for the pre peace of Jerusalem. I really do. It's been difficult. There's been persecution. When you give life to Christ, it, like, like you said, it's difficult. But it's well worth it. I look to him. That's where my help comes from.